Hi guys, welcome, welcome to today's purse sale. Um, today is Thursday and it's the 19th and we have another batch of beautiful handbags. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here shortly. Um, all of my items are thrifted, pre-owned for resale. So all of your sales that you, or all the bags, anything that you decide to purchase is um, final sale. I accept PayPal only and it's US priority shipping within the US only. Hello everybody, all my sweet, sweet family members here. Randy, we'll go ahead and get into that in just a little bit, just letting everybody log in here. Welcome. I hope everybody's having a really, really fantastic day. Um, that's a vintage one. I got I got a couple of vintage beauties here today that I'm really excited to share. And so happy to be back on a normal purse sale video instead of in the hospital or crying because my dog went missing. <laughs> so finally, you guys, and I want to owe so much of it to you for all of your prayers and well wishes. And you guys are the absolute best. So from the bottom of mine and Randy and my family's heart, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, he, I don't think I'll ever do overseas shipping. It's just, it does take a little bit more work. It's a little bit more detailed. And honestly, I just don't have the extra five minutes to spend per item that I would sell for overseas shipping. So no, I won't be doing that. I have thought long and hard about it. I've done research on it. And although it's not hard, it's just time consuming. And I just don't have the extra time to ship overseas. So as of this moment, the answer would be no to that. I'm very sorry. Um, but yeah, that's the way that is. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Um, yes, I definitely have a few vent. Come here. Come here, monkey. Come on. Come on up. Come on. I'm not forgetting about you. Never, never. Somebody wants to say hello here. This, my big girl, Sadie. She's having a little panic attack. She needs her mommy real quick. Um, but thank you. Thank you, Brina. I, I have definitely, don't think I haven't thought about it. I most definitely have. It's just come to the conclusion that it, that it will be a not for a while, if at all. Oh, thank you so much. I'll take you in and I'll show you Randy. Randy is home. Um, I'm telling you what. I believe in prayer. I believe that all things are meant for a reason. And I believe that I have you guys for a reason. And it's not just to buy purses from me that your prayer and, of course, our friends and family prayer have absolutely 100 percent been answered with for for Randy and and all his situation. So uh, what happened is he did go in for surgery yesterday, af yesterday afternoon. Um, it starts off as it was a sinus condition. He has chronic sinusitis. Um, but what had happened was he had actually a mass that was found near his brain before surgery. And also this area right here, what in here mainly, because of all of the um, disease and stuff that was up in his sinuses had caused severe bone loss. So with that, they didn't know what they were going to find as of a mass and they didn't and they did believe they were going to have to do a oh i need to ask randy what it's called the where they rebuild the bone here there's a name for it i'm sure you guys probably already know so they went in yesterday he did have a lot of um chronic sinus issues that had to be cleaned out polyps um there was bacteria forming near the brain they got all that cleaned up but you guys there was zero mass there was no mass and he did not have to have the, let me ask him. I'm going to bring him in there. Okay. I'll take you guys in here. You guys can see him. He looks a hundred percent. You cannot tell he had surgery. You guys, honey, turn the TV down. I want to show everybody how amazing you look and there's no packing. You guys, he doesn't have that plastic piece in his nose stitched that he had to have last time. Here he is. 
Hello, everybody. <laughs> Let me just kind of scooch over here next <clears throat> to you. Now, what is it that the I keep wanting to call it a tracheotomy. Why am I calling it that? What you did not have to get done. The, the septoplasty. Septoplasty. Whatever that is. So that is. is where they take cartilage from the ear or a part of his body, and they replace it to restructure the bone loss. Oh, that's rhinoplasty, isn't it? No, they called it septoplasty. Oh, I know that's Your right. septum, where they re, re, reconstruct your septum. That didn't even have to be done. So they went in there and they cleaned all of his sinuses out. And that was like the the gist of his surgery. Now, the thing was, he didn't come out and see me after his surgery was over. Um, called me on my cell phone. I thought it was just a random number because it didn't come up, so I didn't answer. But I do have the message he left, the little voicemail saying Randy did great. Everything went great. And then the nurse in the um, recovery area said, you know, the doctor will definitely talk to us more on the 24th for his um, post-op. But you guys right now, you can't tell he had surgery. Um, Just the fact that I'm tired. <laughs> he's a, he is really tired, but he's looking really good. And his lap, honey, quit rocking making the computer rock the last surgery he had was less invasive and even he he had a really rough time yeah. when he was coming out of it this time was supposed to be way more invasive and you guys know what i say it was 100 percent prayer <laughs> randy you can stop laughing i don't care <laughs> you guys it is and he's doing really good today he got up about every half hour last night we don't know why to go to to go pee um, they must have just like he must have been sucking in the yeah, IVs or something. But if you don't believe in prayer yet, then you might want to start giving it a shot. Um, because I'm not a Bible thumper by any means, but you guys, he went in there with the thoughts, the surgeon thinking a lot, a lot, a lot more had to be done from his um, last checkup that he had. They got in there and just had to do a lot of cleaning. And we'll find out all the details. We'll Tuesday. find out all the details <clears throat> on Tuesday did, on the so. 24th. But the septoplasty did not have to be done. And the doctor was almost positive that had to be done because he had a lot of he had a lot of bone loss from the bacterial infection that was in his sinuses. So there's Randy, in case everybody's wondering. He's here, he's home, his baby's with him, he's got his coffee, he's been eating. Shoot, he got home. You guys, we got home from surgery yesterday. He came and sat down, and he's all googly goggly still from all this anesthesia, and he wanted two bean rice and cheese burritos, <laughs> two big fat burritos. He ate that. He's feeling good. He's just tired, but yeah, he looks like he 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 doesn't even look like he's had surgery. Can't even tell. No, but that's a little, little discomfort. But other than that, and know. he's like I said on his last sign of surgeries, they were way. Uh, more invasive. Yeah, I've been hit by a train or a truck. And this time, <laughs> he's just like, all your guys' prayers has made him like this. So we want to thank you as a family very, very much. very much. And we consider you our family too, even though we have never met you in person. We have you here. And it means the world to us. Because look, I brought our pixie back. Well, she never left, as you guys know. <laughs> um, but I was having a mini stroke. And we've got my wonderful husband here feeling really good considering. And yeah, so we just wanted to say thank you, you guys. We'll go back in my she shed now and we'll get to the purses. But first thing, most important thing first. Okay, honey, need anything while I'm up? No, we're good. Okay, so we will head back in. Oh, by the way, here's a little bit of my living room. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but. <laughs> and here's my little, my little buddy. You want to come back in with Mama? Stormy, if you're wondering, he's out on the patio probably looking for crickets and moths because that's his that's his life's goal is batting crickets and moths around and bringing Mommy live animals. So, okay, you guys. So that was most important what I wanted to show you guys and let everybody know we are doing great. Randy is doing great. We'll find out, like, the in-depth stuff like what really happened up in there on the 24th. Because like I said, I didn't meet face to face with the doctor after the surgery. So yes, now Dory, I can take a deep breath. I can get back to work. Um, do I, I don't want to go back to work. 
Randy's got three weeks off. So it's going to be amazing having him home for three weeks. The doctor doesn't want him working for three weeks because uh, he did have quite, quite some crazy stuff going on there that just seemed to go away before the surgery. So thank you. All right, you guys, are you ready for the purse sale? Is everybody ready, ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get started with a bag that's one of them that you saw in the little picture here. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm selling handbags and um, they are all pre-owned. They're not, from, these are not from my collection. I thrift them and then resell them. So the first one is this Dooney and Burke. And after this is finished, I will be having all of the prices loaded in the information box down below. So this type of leather for Nienberg is from what they call the Nile collection, which I'm assuming is supposed to be like the crocodile collection. Um, it's a very, very pretty indeed. It's such a dark brown, it's almost black. And it's kind of that worn look. It's really, really pretty. Tote style, the little Dunienberg hang tag. It has the little cinch ties on the side with the little tassels. It all is all genuine leather. It has feet on the bottom. Dooney and Burke embossed. Nice drop on the shoulder straps. And are they adjustable? It does not look like they're adjustable. They do have a little post, um, a little, what do you call them here? The little post thingamajiggers here. Let's put this back in here, the little tabs like so. Okay. Well, let me show you the inside. I did clean this one out. The bottom was pretty dirty. So before Randy's surgery, I spent a day cleaning and sanitizing my bags. That's why I haven't had a purse in a little while. I did a lot of cleaning and sanitizing. This little uh, cutie comes with the purse. It's like a little wristlet, little wallet, whatever you want to call it. So you just clip that on there if you want to use it as a little wristlet. Okay, that's nice and clean all leather as well. It also comes with this matching key fob. And then it also on the inside has a key lanyard. So what you can do is just attach your little key fob to the lanyard and you won't lose your keys that way. And then you just unclip them, unclip them and go. So that goes on there. Then the inside has uh, lots of pockets. Let's get a gander of all the pockets that are in here. Okay, all the pockets. That's the stain right there. This was huge. It was all the way, like, it was really, really big. And that's what's left is that one little corner stain in there. Other than that, it's in great condition. Um, if the stain doesn't bother you, then more power to us, right? Oh, I guess Sadie got in trouble for something. Daddy's telling her to go outside. So that's the Dooney and Burke Nile tote all right here is a very very special piece i found this was such a fun find this is a vintage 1950 1950s bag by lewis l-e-w-i-s here is the inside and it is in gorgeous gorgeous condition um it's just a stunning little purse little handbag and it's the carpet bag in a black carpet material with a brass hardware, little top handle that you can also wear on the crook of your arm if you like. Stormy's home. Okay, and let me just show you the inside again. It's got the cute little lock at the top. Opens up, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, trying to show you, like here's a regular wallet size. So, I mean, you can fit a lot of things inside. This is one of those gorgeous beauties that if it doesn't sell, you know, I will be keeping it because I love bags like this. And finding this one was a treasure indeed. Hi, Storm. Hi, buddy. Are you coming to see mom? Okay, next we have this Kate Spade satchel in a uh, ivory color croc material, it's leather. 
It has the adjusting strap that also can come off if you just want to carry it by the top handles. It's a medium sized satchel. The inside is a mauve color with two slip pockets and a zipper pocket. Here is the Kate Spade logo. And it's nice and roomy. It's got a double zip top. Get the zipper closed here for you. Double zipper. Here's the bottom. I didn't stuff it. You guys know I'm quite busy this week. There's a little bit of corner wear. Not that big of a deal. The back. And I really like this. This purse is really cute. So this is Kate Spade. Can you guys see the detail on the... Yeah, there you go. Now you can see what kind of leather it is. Genuine leather. Um, I'm going to do this guess. This is a vintage guess speedy style bag. And it's in a champagne color, silver hardware. Love the little chain on it. It has like a croco um, faux leather handles and trim. Nice large zipper pull. I love this. Um, this right here, all the way around the little plaque is rhinestones. Here's the bottom. It's got a sheen to it. Okay. Love all the metal hardware on this. It's really pretty. And the inside is a satin cheetah material. And then you also get this little bag here. It has little extra rhinestones in case one of the little stones here should fall out. Then you have a little bag of extras right here. Okay, this one has slip pockets and a zipper pocket. So this is my champagne guess. Super pretty. I have a little Betsy Johnson crossbody. And it's in new condition, hot pink and black. A little bit of chain on the crossbody strap. And the little heart twist lock opens up. And like I said, it's in brand new condition. There's your interior. With a zipper pocket, and it says Betsy Johnson right there. Okay. Just looking if there's any questions so far. Thank you for answering that, Kristen. I appreciate that, honey. Okay. Little scuff right there. That's it. All right. This is gorgeous. This is genuine leather, a tote style. It's a very smooth leather with a sheen to it. Silver hardware. And this one is by Perlina. Okay. This is a very functional tote. To me, this totally reminds me of a fossil brand, a fossil style, doesn't it? You have a zipper pocket on the back. Yeah, this one is really gorgeous. I love the way the, the handles are wide and then they slim to the top with padded rolled leather. Perlina is a wonderful, wonderful, expensive brand. The inside is like brand new. You have, here's the interior. Let's see, we've got a ton of pockets on this wall. See all the pockets on that wall? Center zip compartment. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a really, really nice large tote. And then you also have this pocket over here. And then it has the flap with a magnetic snap. The bottom has feet and it's very lightweight. Okay, so this is my like new. Nah. Next, I have this coach tote. And this is like a really dark taupe and black. Um, this is jacquard fabric. This is a smooth black leather. It has a little bit of wear right here, but it's not a big deal. It's just like right there where it lands on your, your side where it's rubbed. So a little bit of wear right there. It's got the large um, side pockets, silver hardware. That's another side pocket, double straps, zip top closure. The inside has two slip pockets and a zipper pocket. And that's just, I gotta wipe that out. It's like little jibbles of paper. Here's the Coach Creed. And then you have the little Coach Silver Emblem right here. Okay, so that is my Coach Tote. All right, we have this vintage Betsy Johnson. This is made of lamb leather and silver hardware. It's got the little studded rosettes on it, a tassel with her little iconic um, lips. And this is in a, a, like a very light, light ivory taupe color. Very roomy, super, super soft, rolled leather handles in chain detail. Okay, then it's got a magnetic snap top closure. And is very, very roomy on the inside with a cheetah print in gray and black. Zipper pockets and two elastic pockets over here. And look how big it is. Okay, so this is a vintage genuine leather, lamb leather, uh, Betsy Johnson. All right, let's do this bag again. This is a Max New York in hot pink pebbled leather. This is a large pebble with a smooth leather on the flaps and the handles. The bottom, it's in new condition. Back. Silver hardware, minimal hardware. Zip top closure with the orange satin interior that says Max New York. There's a pocket, slip pocket, a zipper pocket, pin pockets, um, like these little pockets here, pin pockets, another pocket here, and there is an ink stain on the bottom right there. Okay, so this is by Max New York. Love the leather on this, it's super, very soft. Okay, I have this adorable little pink Kipling. This is a bubblegum pink Kipling crossbody. I feel like it's not coming through to true color. Really adorable little black crossbody, Kipling emblem. So you can lift this up and use whatever you want to put in here. It has a zipper here. Put whatever you want. 
And then this lifts up. You have like a little wallet area for credit cards, cash, whatever you want to put in there. And then you've got the main little zipper compartment, which opens up nice and wide to put whatever you like. Okay, so this is a Kipling. Pink. It's a pretty, like a, between a baby and a bubblegum pink. It's really pretty. I'm trying to see which do I want to do now. Let's do this little beauty. This is a gorgeous pebbled leather purse by Elaine Turner. This one's by Elaine Turner. It's got the fringe zipper pull. It is genuine leather. It has a huge slip pocket on the back and hot pink. It's got the whip stitch shoulder strap. The inside has two slip pockets and a zipper pocket with the hot pink interior. Extremely lightweight. And it's got the little Elaine Turner bar going across here. Okay. Then I have this gorgeous beauty. And this is in an emerald green with silver square studs all around the front and the back. It's a tote style, rolled leather handles, two major zip top compartments. The color is coming not coming true to color here. This is a really pretty, let's see if I turn this down. Now maybe you guys can see, it still doesn't really look true to color on camera, but we're doing the best we can. Here's the bottom. Then you have both zipper pulls. Yes, isn't it beautiful? This bag is by, okay, you're going to get unread, yeah, and then you're coming back here? Yeah, for just a bit, so you can shower, and then you're going to go and get his Okay, can you grab me my coffee real quick? Where's that? It's on the coffee table. This is by Regina, genuine leather, made in Italy. Okay. This is my online store, you guys. Our amazing victory. This is my online store. Thank you, baby. Okay, be careful. Yep, got it. Coffee. Okay. Alrighty. So that is the, Re did I say Regina? I think I said Regina. Yeah, this is a Regina tote. Super soft, smushy, emerald green, forest green, any what you want to call it, um, tote. And today that's going to be my bag sale. So, um, yeah, that is, that is today's sale. So I'm going to go ahead and get off now. And I'm going to get all of these listed for you. Hopefully you found something you like. It was great speak, talking to you guys and super awesome having all of your prayers come through. It was amazing because you see how God works. Amazing. All right, you guys. I'm checking to see if I have any more questions about the bags. Um, okay. Any more questions on any of the bags that I just showed? Love you guys so much. Um, all right.
stay humble, stay kind, and I will see you guys on tomorrow's video. Yep, we're going to do tomorrow another video tomorrow. I love you guys so much. Bye, everybody.